I'm going to sign it, and that's what I'm going to do while you're... It was the third executive order signed by Joe Biden. The commitment I made that we're going to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord uh, as, of, uh, as of today. The Biden administration has vowed to reverse Donald Trump's extraordinary rollback of environmental safeguards, some 100 rules over the last four years, including emission standards for cars, power plants, and the oil and gas industry, all seen as key to saving the planet. We're getting out. President Trump announced the U.S.'s withdrawal from the Paris Accord in 2017. However, due to a strict exit timetable stipulated in the agreement, the U.S. only officially withdrew three and a half years later, the day after Trump lost the election. Nonetheless, it was an announcement symbolic of the irreversible damage wrought on the planet by the U.S. over the last four years. It did have incredible ramifications domestically and globally. Uh, we are on an actual emergency timescale. We need to actually transition our entire electricity system by, you know, 80% reductions in emissions by 2030. So every day that we are delaying that, we are exacerbating the climate emergency. The Paris Accord agreed to by the Obama administration in 2015 committed the U.S. to a 28% cut of greenhouse gas emissions from 2005 levels by 2025. At the time, scientists said it was an inadequate pledge if the goal was keeping the global temperature from rising over two degrees Celsius from pre-industrial times. Any larger rise and planetary catastrophe is predicted. Now it may also take several years to reverse Trump's regulatory rollbacks, crucial time that the planet doesn't have. Biden envisions a carbon-neutral U.S. by 2050, but given the damage of the last four years, members of Congress argue Biden will have to take bold action himself. I think it might be a good idea for President Biden to call a climate emergency. Hmm. Why? Because then he can, it relates to what you're saying. Then he can do many, many things under the emergency powers of the president that wouldn't have to go through, that he could do without legislation. Now, Trump used this emergency for a stupid wall, which wasn't an emergency. But if there ever was an emergency, climate is one. The president could end fracking or kickstart the U.S.'s alternative energy industry through executive action far quicker than it would take for Congress to formulate legislation. Scientists warn every day the U.S. delays, the closer the Earth is to catastrophe. Yes, using presidential and not congressional power means that a future president not concerned with climate change could reverse Biden's policies. But proponents of declaring a climate emergency argue that if the focus of the executive actions is to fundamentally change the U.S.'s economy and infrastructure, the impact of those policies may not be reversed. Shia Bratansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.